my wall is basically done. Um, I just got to dress up the top of it, um, but I have to decide how I'm going to do it. But that's not why I'm making this video. Today, I'm going to attempt to take down that leaning pine tree that's uh, a little scary. Here's the tree that I'm going to address today. And this sucker is a bit scary in that it's uh, it's leaning uh, significantly. And it's leaning on the tree next to it or in front of it. It's leaning in a direction that isn't going to do any harm to anything. But, but I also, when I do end up having it hit the ground, I just, I dread the thought that it will catch on another tree and uh, not fall all the way down. I'm no tree expert and if I were I'd probably opt to do a plunge cut um, and maybe wrap it with a chain or a strap or something so it wouldn't split or to help slow the split down so I could get out of the way if it does split but that tree splitting is a scary concept and uh, I'm trying to avoid it altogether but I, th I think I think digging it is going to be the best way, safest way anyway. The best way is to just call the guy, right? We all have the guy for different things. And I try not to call the guy too often if I can help it. got this cut I've got a wedge in it I don't want to go anymore because there's not much hinge left and what's happening is the two trees are somehow uh, linked together up there can't really see because of the leaves but since I've got uh, this line on here I've got it going down and around and I've attached it to the tractor I tried pulling on it by hand but there was no going um, I've got it uh, tied off to the tractor and we'll see if we can we can put enough tension on it to uh, free it up up top without um, breaking the rope see what happens I was careful not to tie the rope to the backhoe or any of that. 
I tied it right to the frame where the uh, uh, tow ball would go. And the problem is the rope I used is pretty cheap and I'm surprised it didn't break. Um, but the problem is now it's, it's stretched so tight that there's no way I'm going to untie it. So I think I'm going to sacrifice it and I'm going to have to cut it. Yeah, it's a hodgepodge of knots, but it worked. They don't call this the granite state for nothing. There are rocks and boulders everywhere. This thing is massive. I don't know what's holding this tree up still. I, uh, I wonder if there's a big tap root under there. I've got to dig more on this side. I'd like to get underneath it better just so I can keep the, uh, keep the machine away from it for when it does tip.
so that didn't work out good. The, uh, the tree fell over, but it went right in between the branches of that tree. Son of a gun. Oi, oi, oi. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that one, but, uh, <laughs> jeez Louise. Oh, man. Another fun day. So this is definitely going to be a two-parter. I've got some work to do. Um, Murphy's Law, right? The one tree with a with a V in it, this has to catch it. Yeah, I think even if I was a little bit more careful about where how I pushed on it, and I don't know, I, I don't I don't think it would have mattered. I think it still would have fell there. The tractor I have isn't strong enough to pull it. The other thing is too, this tree isn't exactly small. It's uh, it's not very big in diameter, but it's tall, and I'm, I'm still a little nervous about playing with it, but I guess I have to to get it down now. There's no turning back. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to be watching for part two.